Okay, so you should have noticed on y equals 2x plus 1, you would have gotten this table of values. When you plug in negative 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 1 is negative 3. And then you keep on going down the line, plugging in things like 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Remember, that's the same thing as our y-intercept because 0 is the x value. Then you get the rest of the points here. After you connect your dots, there's your line. For y equals x plus 4, same thing. You make a table of values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. When you plug in negative 2, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. 0 plus 4 is 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. So you get these points. Notice your y-intercept again here is 0, 4. So when I ask you the question, what is the slope in the y-intercept, you should be able to see it happening here, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and your y-intercept is at 0, 1, which is what we found in the table. Same thing here. This one is going up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So our slope is 1, and our y-intercept is 4 that we found in the table. You also should notice the slope if you look at the table. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Same thing here, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So what you should notice is that if I have an equation in the format y equals mx plus b, then my slope is staring me in the face right there. Up 2 over 1, up 1 over 1. Also, my y-intercept is staring me in the face right here. 1 should be my y-intercept. There it is. 4 should be my y-intercept. There it is. So if I can get any equation into this format, I know what my slope is, and I know what my y-intercept is. This gives me the ability to graph a linear equation extremely quick, because all I have to do is find this point first, plot it on the graph, plot my y-intercept, then use my slope, my rise over run, to find the next point, up 2 over 1, and then I've got two points to connect to make a line. Start my line at 4, up 1 over 1 for my slope, connect my dots, and I've got my line. So it is the quickest way to graph. Now what I like to do is give you kind of a handy way to remember it. So what I tell people to do, this is going to sound really goofy, but it will hopefully start to uh, burrow into your mind a little bit. This is the beginning point right here. You begin at your y-intercept, which is the b value, and then you move to the next point. Begin and move on your graph. So what I have is a couple more examples for you to do real quick. I'm going to go through and video these on a second video that will be right after this one in the playlist on my YouTube channel. So you can go through and you can see the solutions to these graphs. These are on your paper. Try them. Remember, you're beginning here, moving to the next point. 